Jackson, we're really, really happy to have you and to be able to uh, to look back at, at this game and, and take a look ahead. But because we haven't talked to you yet this season, I wanted to ask about your season so far. What's it been like with a new offense? It's been great. Um, you know, I've been loving the coaching staff. Um, they've been, you know, working with us real well. We've been meshing real well. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I had a good feeling, you know, during training camp and when I first got here. And um, it's exceeded my expectations. So, you know, we just got to take advantage of, you know, of everything that we have and just try to put our best foot forward. How did it feel coming back in your second year? You, you're kind of settled down and you can just concentrate on football. Did you feel a big difference? Oh, a ton. Um, a lot of weight I felt feel like is, you know, off my shoulders from last year. Um, just knowing, you know, what to do every day, you know, how to approach practices and um, just, you know, the style of play of the NFL, just, you know, just growing really and um, just taking everything that I, you know, learned and just try to, you know, excel it. No disrespect to the guy who was calling the plays last year, but it seemed like y'all was getting out the huddle with like five, six seconds left and getting to the line of scrimmage and trying to rush things. It seems like you guys got way more time now. Geno's moving guys around. What does that do for you when, when you're planning your attack on the defense? Uh, I mean, it does a lot. You know, first, it, you know, a lot of defense have tails and, you know, for, for us to be able to, you know, get out the huddle fast, get lined up and then motion, you know, we're able to see, you know, what the defense is doing, you know, a lot of the times. And, um, yeah, and we just, you know, try to play offense on offense, you know, go down, you know, and they got to stop us and just having that, you know, score every drive mentality. You know, we really believe that. I feel like we have the guys and, you know, the play calling and everything. So we just we just got to execute. What's Mike McDonald like? Mike McDonald, he's awesome, man. I, you know, love playing for him. First year, he's a real guy. Um, you know, says what's on his mind and, you know, nothing more, nothing less. And, you know, I appreciate for I appreciate that from him. Yeah. He seems like a very direct communicator. Yes. Like not many words, but blunt. And, he, <laughs> yes. blunt, and then also the uh, he's got kind of a corny sense of humor, which is funny. I think. Very, very corny. <laughs> very funny. Wait, corny? Why corny? <laughs> Corny's cool though. You know, just a little, is. A little is. nerdish, but um, yeah. you know, we we love those guys too. You know, they're <laughs> they're awesome. You, you need those type of type of people in your life and you know for him to just be able to give straight information you know this is what I need from you this is this is how we play you know just stamping it um seeing it hearing it face face to face is awesome does he know he's corny yeah he knows it okay he yeah. wears it yeah Man, he's he 37 it. head coach <laughs> of a football team he's so secure That's in himself yeah. you know yeah. what I mean yeah. um I was watching uh on my feed your your Rose Bowl game came up and uh, all these deep plays you're running down the field and now uh, I watched the way they use you in this office you, they still take your shots put you in the slot with those spray fades and all that stuff but it seems like you're working more underneath um how do you like your role in this offense compared to the role at Ohio State um you know I like it you know kind of kind of you know sort of similar um you know I feel like you know deep routes short routes you know um I'm good at it I'm comfortable with it um I love running it and I just think for me you know the short routes set up my my long routes yeah. uh further routes down the field so um, yeah, just really just using my whole toolbox um, is kind of what you see now. You know, it's kind of on display. You know, Coach Ryan Grubb doing a great job of, you know, taking, you know, each guy what they're good at and just putting them in the best p position to win. And, um, you know, I just know, just got to stay level-headed and know plays are going to come. You guys are at um, kind of a tough part in the schedule in terms of the length between games. In 11 days, you're going to play three games or something yeah. like that. So obviously, you've got this one coming up Sunday, and then you've got a Thursday night. Thankfully for you guys, both are at home, but that's not easy. Um, what changes with prep on a short week? Yeah, just mental focus. You know, you got to lock in. Um, you know, we're kind of taking... You know, a little bit, you know, just making sure guys are good. You know, you know, like you said, just having three games and, you know, in the game and executing. Everybody loves a receiver that is willing to block. And I, I, there was a play in the, the preseason, actually, against the Chargers where he just trucked a guy downfield. Yeah. You take you take some pride in that because it's it's awesome to see, you know, when you see receivers just fighting their tails off in the run game. Yeah, I do. I do take pride in that. Um, you know, I take pride in, you know, whatever the team needs, whatever the coach asks for me, you know, I can do it. I look at myself as an all-around player. You know, I try to clean up, you know, every mistakes I have, anything I can get better. And then, and it's just more of a of a mentality thing, blocking. You know, I don't think, you know, you can practice it and stuff like that. But, you know, are you going to get the job done? And, um, you know, being in a slot, I'm putting in a lot of positions to where, you know, you need to get the job done, making sure, 
you know, he's out and I can do an even better job, you know, than what I'm doing right now. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to, you know, when I guess my whole game's complete. Yeah. Uh, I'll make a statement before I ask a question. You're a pro, so you won't say it. I'll say it for you. That call on fourth down was, you know what, yeah, God, yeah. goodness <laughs> gracious. I'm fighting people on X about that. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah. Like, anyway, to the question now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, what, uh, what, what do you think is the, uh, the part of your game that's grown the most in, in two seasons? Yeah, I mean, I, I think just taking first year, just having, you know, you know, my first year and just learning from that, I think, you know, just my timing and connection really with Gino just has grown just more reps, you know what I'm saying? Um, being able to, you know, see what the defense is, you know, doing, you know, and I give credit to Coach uh, Frisman Jackson and um, Coach Pete's, you know, for, you know, us sitting down and really understanding the coverages and understanding what the defense is trying to do. I feel like, you know, that has grown in my game and allowed me to play faster and, and be more on time with Gino. Let's talk off the field a little bit. Again, it's our first time talking with you for the huddle. So we haven't gotten a chance to check in mm -hmm. with Jackson, see how, how the season changed for you. Um, Wyman asked you earlier a bit of kind of like what feels different on the field. I remember hearing um, from Chris Carson, who I don't think you ever played with, from Chris Carson, like what he had to change uh, between his first year and second, and mostly it was eating. Obviously, mm -hmm. we know your teammate DK has maybe not changed <laughs> some of that, but have you had to like make any kind of changes to like, maybe not pizza for me at, at yeah. midnight? Like what, what's, what's changed most in kind of like off the field prep, diet, like stuff that you just kind of miss? Yeah, I think uh, really it's just been more focused on the main thing, which is football. And like you said, um, making sure I'm eating right, you yeah. know, uh, taking care of my body when I'm outside of the facility. I mean, really, you know, I'm pretty much locked in all season and I pretty much just try to do everything, you know, that will help me be successful on Sundays. Uh, I'm, I feel like I really am locked in into my craft and yeah. uh, into this game. And when I come into the facility, I'm already ready. I've already prepped when I go home, getting some prep, go to sleep, make sure, you know, I'm eating, you know, the right stuff. Um, yeah, who's making that food? Changes. I'm sorry. Say, no, no. Who's making the food? Who, who's making the food? Oh, shout out to my uh, Chef Casey, man. Chef okay. Casey, man. He's the best. All right. So you, you're not doing it yourself? Nah, nah, yeah. nah. <laughs> can't be trusted? Nah, can't be trusted. <laughs> can't be trusted. I'm not even going to put myself. I got a lot on my mind and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you exchange texts with uh, Harrison over there in Arizona. What's that relationship like? Yeah, um, the relationship's good. I mean, that's my dog. You know, been through, you know, a lot together, you know, um, you know, obviously went to Ohio State and, um, you know, it's great. He's an unbelievable player. You know, it's I don't I don't know whether I like it or whether I don't like it. You know, him being in my division <laughs> uh, right now. Um, um, I know he's going to make that team, you know, a lot better. And it's going to be, you know, some good matchups, you know, between us. Um, but, yeah, he's a, he's a guy, man. He's he's really good. You know, the best, you know, I've seen. Um, and um, yeah, the. The, the sky's the limit for him. It's probably like as a player, it makes those games much more difficult. As a person, you get to see him twice a year. Right, right, you know? right so, yeah. So that works out as a friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Each other, and you get to see him in Arizona. All right. Exactly. He is Jackson Smith and Jigba, kind enough to join us and take some time out of your day. You got to go get ready yeah. for week five. And we are going to come back with another interview. This is The Huddle.